What is going on guys? Grave here today. I'd like to talk about Season 4 in Battlefield 2042 and is it a good time to come back and try the game out? Now this was a game that I played a good bit when it first came out but like most of you probably just didn't really love it. It was not what I was hoping for. I was hoping for one of those modern Battlefield games that was like Battlefield 3, Battlefield 4 and it just wasn't quite there. But I will say DICE has made a lot of improvements and I do enjoy the game a lot more now than I did at the start. First of all, the new class system has been added in. So it's not really the new class system. It's kind of like the old class system. There's not specialists in game anymore. We have engineers, we have assault, we have support, and we have recon. Not quite the exact same as we saw in old Battlefield games, but close as we're going to get. Um, and that is a lot better of a system, in my opinion. I know a lot of people did not like having specialists, and having the class system back, I think, was a big plus within the past few updates. The game does feel a lot better now. It feels smoother. It feels like it plays better. It feels like it plays more like some of the older Battlefield games, if you were a fan of Battlefield 4. The way the game just feels, feels more like that than it did at the start. Also, they added spotting back, which was a big plus because that was a thing that I wish they would never would have took out of the game to begin with over the past several years. But the spotting system is back, and that is also another thing that I think a lot of players like because it feels like an older Battlefield game than some of the past installments that we've had. The one big thing I think right now is what's making the game kind of get popular again is because this month, the month of March here in uh, 2023, the game is free on PlayStation Plus. So if you're a PlayStation Plus member, Battlefield 2042 is free. Also, the game is in Xbox uh, in the Game Pass. So you're looking at a good way to be able to play the game without having to purchase it. If you own Game Pass, you can play it through that. If you own a PlayStation, you can play it free from uh, PlayStation. So this will be getting players back into the game, and I have noticed that the player base now seems to be a lot bigger than it was. It used to take a long time over the over the last, I'd say, six or seven months to be able to find a game. Sometimes it would take forever to load in, and once you did, there would not be a full lobby. Now, every game I've played, the lobbies have been full. Of course, I do play with cross-play on, so I'm playing with you know all platforms. But I have heard a lot of people talking about turning cross-play off on console and still getting full lobbies. So, right now, the player base is better than it has been really since the game came out. About two weeks after the game came out, the player base fell off. Now it seems to be getting kind of back where it needs to be. And I think it was a really good decision by EA to put that game out, of course, on, on PlayStation for free, considering it was in the Game Pass. Hopefully they'll get more players in. Also, will the devs be able to keep up the updates? Is it something that they're going to want to do? If the player base stays strong, I think they will. I think they will continue to come out with these good updates. Because the last several updates, really since Season 2, have been a big improvement uh, from when the game first came out. So from season two on, the game has improved a lot. It is a lot better than it was from the start. But I'm just kind of curious if EA and DICE are already looking forward to another, you know, kind of Battlefield project that they're wanting to work on or other games. Or are they kind of looking at it now saying, well, we got the player base back. There's more people playing. Uh, should we continue to update the game like we have been? And I think they will. Or at least I hope they will. Because if they do, I think the player base can stay strong. We'll kind of just have to wait and see. But one thing I think they really need to do is continue to have the great UI updates, bug fixes, and things like that. But adding more maps and weapons along the way will also be a big plus. And I'm hoping that we'll do that in the future. We know we're not getting any more characters added in. Like the specialist that came out in Season 4, which really is not a specialist anymore, was going to be the last one. So I think we have all the... The specialists we're going to have in game break, broken up into the different classes. But I think more maps and more weapons is a, a big thing. And they have a lot of things they can pull from Portal. So they've been pulling a lot of weapons from Portal into Battlefield 2042, a lot of maps as well. And I think some new maps and some new weapons also will be a, a, a big positive for players that are playing now. They're just maybe returning or hopping into the game for the first time. We've got some good weapons here in Season 4 in the Battle Pass. So... We do have some things to look forward to, I think, as long as the player base stays, as long as people keep playing, along, as long as DICE continues to add good maps, good weapons, and good game modes. We'll kind of have to see what happens in the end. I would say the next five to six months will kind of be a good test to see exactly where the player base is at and also what the devs have done to improve the game over the next five or six months. There's still a lot of improvements they can make. Don't get me wrong. It's still not 
those great Battlefield games that I'm used to. I've played them all. Of course, I've been around the channel for a long time. You know that. And I really stopped loving Battlefield after really, after Battlefield 3. I know a lot of people love Battlefield 4, and I played a ton of it. I had thousands of hours in Battlefield 4, but everything from the start up to Battlefield 3 were kind of my favorites overall. And over the last several installments, I've not been a big fan of it. Um, I was really hoping uh, for a lot more from Battlefield 2042 since it was going to be back, back to those kind of modern times, modern weapons. And it just really didn't deliver. And now it's in a lot better state. Like I said, it does need improvements. But I think overall the game is going in the right direction. Just hopefully enough players will either come back to play the game or start playing the game now. So we can really see what DICE can do with this. Because I think... Like I said, it is getting a lot better uh, than it was from the start, but also there's still a lot of room for improvement, and I think there's a lot of room for growth in the game as long as the developers continue to make good quality content and support the game with good quality updates. Anyway, leave me a comment with your thoughts. And of course, if you like the video, hit the like. If you have not subscribed yet, please do so, and I'll catch you next time. Peace.